Hello, hello, hello. Um, hi. We're gonna be re reacting to the Nintendo Direct. That's it's like live right now. Uh, and yeah, I guess we're gonna see if we get any Smash news, cause that's all I'm here for. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, there might be Animal Crossing news. Uh, hopefully. Um. Other than that, I don't know if there's much I care about. Maybe the Prime Trilogy that happens. Excited to play those games. <clears throat> I don't know. I feel like the Fire Emblem Three Houses. I feel like if they just put it out today with like the knowledge, like the information we already have, I'd, I'd buy it. You know, it's a new Fire Emblem game. I don't really know what they're gonna be uh, showing off about it. I just feel like that part will be boring. Um, so I hope they kind of skim through that. But here we go. It's been a while. <laughs> Mario Maker? Slopes. Oh, I'm I'm glad they started off with this theme though. It's my favorite favorite Mario 2D game. Two. <laughs> oh, what were those? Oh, the sun. What are the themes? 3D World? What the heck? What is going on? If they made 3D World, did they make like an Odyssey version? <laughs> like Game Explain was predicting? Luigi! Dude! Okay, that, that was awesome. Yoshiaki Koizu, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. <laughs> you just got your first look at the brand new sequel to Super Mario Maker, which we're of course calling Super Mario Maker 2. That was a lot more hype than I thought it would be, the reveal. <laughs> there will be brand new features, and many new elements are in development as we speak. So please... In Metroid Prime 4... <laughs> Let's cover today's Nintendo Switch headlines. For the first time in 10 years, the Marvel Ultimate Alliance series returns with a new four-player action RPG and an all-new original story. Assemble your ultimate dream team from a huge cast of Marvel superheroes. From the uh oh, the that was a cool tag. The Avengers, Defenders, X-Men, and more to stop Thanos and the Black Order. Oh. Havana man, he's a cool dude with a root tube. Locally on up to four systems or online. And get closer to the action with a dynamic zoomed in heroic camera. Who's that? Oh. It's time to go higher, further, faster with Marvel's ultimate cosmic protector, Captain Marvel. Wield her power against those that would do harm to the universe. As characters level up, they'll learn skills you can use on the fly. In Carol Danvers' case, literally. In addition to basic attacks and skills, each hero has an alliance extreme attack, their most powerful move. Whether you join forces with friends locally or online, even though it looks like a, you know a generic beat 'em up, these attacks look really pretty cool. Wait, who's? Your most powerful attacks can even be combined into an ultimate alliance extreme attack. The team of possible. <laughs> Groot's just waving his, his arms around. All right. Depending on how much it is, it looks like a fun uh, party game. Oh man, that leak is looking looking real. Oh, I forgot what else was there that that guy leaked. Oh, 
This time, two players can box it up together. To restore peace on the box planet, you must work as a team, solve puzzles, and beat those stages. After completing the story, you can access a whole separate adventure starring Cutie, the tall one. The tall one. In all, there are two hundred seventy. Well, I like that there's a lot more content. In the series today. Apparently, use your brain boxes to think outside the box and lead our heroes to the goal. Box boy and box girl will unload on Nintendo Switch April twenty sixth. The ultimate spring update. What is happening? <laughs> Wait. Is about to spring forward with the version 3.0 update this spring. Joker, dude, that's so Joker. What? Joker is a part of Challenger Pack One. Oh, there he is. And his moment will finally come before the end of April. In other words, that's a cool knife. Springtime is the time to smash. And don't forget. New Super Smash Brothers series amiibo figures are on the way too. Oh, I like the whip how it looks. Well, we finally saw Joker in the game. Kinda. There's even more to explore. They're gonna be adding a lot of stuff, apparently. It's never too late for a journey through the maze-like miniature worlds of the Captain Toad Treasure Tracker game. In fact, we have two new announcements. For the yeah, it's looking like no uh, Smash character reveal. Um, After a new update, all courses will support two-player co-op. Maybe Captain Toad won't be so nervous with someone at his side. Two heads are better than one, and an extra set of hands goes a long way. This free update will be available later today. And some paid downloadable content is coming. We're adding in 18 new challenges that'll see you traveling to five new courses. From sunken ships to a kingdom of sweets. And achieving new objectives in existing courses. Oh, that looks like a sunshine themed like level, or maybe not theme. It looks like the kind of style is the bonus levels. Captain Toad and Toadette must obtain the shiny crowd in each course, all of which can be played alone or with a second player. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker special episode. Two player seems fun. Purchase as soon as well later today, giving like it seems access to one of the courses. Like it might break the game, the but the still fun. March 14th. If you don't have the game yet. Look out for a digital bundle available on Nintendo eShop later today. It contains the full game and gives you access to see DLC. <laughs> Maybe once it's available. Steal yourself for old school action in an all new Gothic castle. The side scrolling action of yore shall rise once more in bloodstained ritual. Oh. And so, the young lady Miriam, host of the Alchemist's Curse, must use her unwanted gifts. To slay the demons wrought by the curse's original host, Jeeva. This actually looks cool. With these powers, she can steal the abilities of enemies, bend gravity to her will, and dart about Jeeva's castle at lightning speed. Here, the laws of reality this looks very Castlevania. Don't apply. Throughout the castle, a treasure trove of side quests, deadly tasks, and small touches flesh out the campaign. Your body is covered with weird decorations. Beyond the main story, you can dig deep into character customization, subquests, and more. Stop the fall of man at the Ah, <laughs> don't make her green. <coughs> I look like a uh, Bayonetta monster thing. Gamora? <laughs> right now I'm thinking of the the hero. That actually might be the name too. World and take on the children of Hargon. Builders 2. I'm getting very comfy feels from this game. Explore underwater and warp all over the new retro inspired map. If you own the previous game on a Nintendo Switch system, you can craft a legendary builder's outfit and the Dragon Lord's throne. The Dragon Quest Builders 2 launches on Nintendo Switch July 12th. I feel like there should be a little more, but at least add something. But first, a word from Mr. Ooh, 
I don't know who that is. Oh, it's that guy. <laughs> we have a new announcement for that classic RPG series. Please take a look. I don't know what that noise was. <laughs> there are RPGs, and then there's Dragon Quest, the series that defined the genre. Oh. And the latest entry is charging onto Nintendo Switch in full force. Pairing the series' beloved style and perfectly balanced battles. Dude, there's so gonna be a Dragon Quest character. Like, I was unsure, but. It might even be this direct. For no one does this ring truer than the Luminary. The boy that prophecy says will succeed the last hero and protect the world from a terrible land. In an odd twist of fate, the boy's royal birthright is snatched from him. On the day he becomes an adult. He finally discovers his true heritage and the powers that make him the luminary. When he goes to the king of the largest kingdom for guidance, he is dubbed Darkspawn. So begins the perilous journey of a hunted hero and the ragtag band of adventurers who will join him. This seems actually pretty cool. Together they'll explore the if this is on the Switch, the which I think it is, I might get it. But holy cow, it looks like Breath of the Wild. When you engage them, choose your strategy wisely in turn based battle. You must know when to attack, when to heal. <laughs> That's cool. And when to switch your party members' orders. As you do, you'll earn skill points which can be used to teach party members attacks, spells, and improve their ability. Because there was Splatoon 2, then they announced the Inkling set same direct. A lot of Dragon Ball, uh, not Dragon Ball, Dragon Quest content right now, so. I don't know. I don't know. Try your hand at the casino or horse races. Urdrea is full of surprises like these. And, and Joker looked really good for some reason. <laughs> like what they showed off. HD vistas and the 2D 16-bit glory of old. This is also the first version of the game with fully orchestrated field and battle tunes. If you want you can change between the original sound and the new one whenever you want. And you can also experience the journey with English or Japanese audio. <laughs> wow, that was a very Japanese scream. <laughs> I don't know why they had to showcase that for, you know, like showing off that feature. Time players and veterans should also look forward to new stories. Each sees one of the main cast members stepping into the spotlight, shedding new light on hidden truths. This hero's adventure has truly leveled up. Dragon Quest 11 S Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition, launching exclusively on Nintendo Switch this fall. While we just announced the that was very cool, I might get that. There will be more new information to share in the future. Please look forward to learning more. Like this direct? <laughs> For now, let's continue with more Nintendo Switch headlines. A Disney Zoom Zoom game like you've never seen before. These stuffed Disney toys took the world by storm, and now they're ready for an after-hours party at the toy store in Disney Zoom Zoom Festival. Play with your friends and family in a wide variety. I think I have one of these. Cooperative games that support up to four players. Like the Sloth from Zootopia. You can play online as well with players from around the world. <coughs> and you can't mention Disney Tsum Tsum without talking puzzles. Connect matching Tsum Tsum. Yeah, I played that game. Set a high score. Pretty cool. The game also features a two-player mode for local and online competitive matches. <laughs> That's cool. Disney Tsum Tsum Festival will steal our hearts in 2019. Seems kind of silly, but might get that. I don't know. But this time, it's far from friendly. In fact, it's none other than Star Wolf's infamous lieutenants, Andrew Oikini, Pigma Dengar, and the Great Leon. 
Now Peppy, Falco, and Sticky have no choice but to hunt them down, like the animals they are, in a challenging new series of missions you can only find in the spring update of... Dang, this game is really using Star Fox to, Star Fox team to sell this game. ...pilot ability and skill tree, plus each pilot can take on any of the new missions and also Fox's missions from the base game. It's time for a game of Seek and Destroy, but don't expect Wolf to play fair. Look forward to news on the rest of the additional content, such as starship races and faction missions, so you're ready when you start. I, I like that. It kind of looks like Star Wars, the Star Wars racing games. A heartfelt fantasy adventure crops up once again. Another season, another reason to wield weapons and spells against monsters. Interact with townsfolk daily. Getting very comf feels. From this game too. Almost like Animal Crossing kinda. But like with combat and the story maybe. We'll keep you coming back for more in Rune Factory 4 Special, fully remastered for Nintendo Switch. Battle alongside townsfolk and before long, you may become more than just friends. See what the heart pounding newlywed life has in store. Just kidding. <laughs> new version of the game. Rune Factory 4 Special will be ripe for the playing later this year. Dang, there's a lot of good games and like never were interested in before. You can finally confirm What's going that Rune on? Factory 5 is in development. Look forward to more info in the future. I feel like that was like a big reveal, but I, I, I'm not, I don't know. And rescue lost souls before those souls become monsters. In this action RPG from the developers of I Am Setsuna and Lost Sphere, step into a realm built upon the tenets of reincarnation. Its people lead repressed lives, forbidden to mourn the loss of loved ones. To uphold these tenets, Kagachi must travel between the living world and the beyond. To rescue lost souls from a terrible fate, becoming monsters. When battling these creatures, the lost souls you've rescued can manifest within you, granting you new powers. Each soul's powers are different, so you must choose the right soul for the situation at hand. In this deep single-player campaign, like I said, there's a lot of like games I like never heard of that are like they look really cool. The very foundations of reincarnation will begin to crumble when Oninaki launches in summer 2019. Except for uh, Dragon Quest. Like, I, I knew about that, but I was never interested really in it. You know what that means? All right. I like Yoshi. This time, we'd like to put the many facets of these crafty courses on display. As Yoshi, you'll A demo? Race Solar Car. Tear through the sky on a plane. Nice shot, Yoshi. Hey, that robot's pretty huge for a miniature. Even at this scale, you'll have some challenging bosses to rank. Ooh. That's like nostalgic. <laughs> that boss. Coins you've racked up. You can collect crafted costumes. If you wear one, it'll offer a bit of protection from enemies. There are more than 180 of these costumes. And some of them can be tricky to get your hands on. Later today, we'll release a demo. Let you play through the first course. The Yoshi's Crafted World game will finally hatch on March 29th. Then it must be a pretty good course. We have more Nintendo Switch headlines Oops. coming up. But first, another update from Mr. Koizumi. <coughs> How's it going so far? Next, we have a follow-up on the latest installment in one of our long-running series. Fire Emblem Three Houses. Please have a look. Hope they don't spend too much time, but who knows? Maybe it'll be cool. Oh my. What could have brought you here? The continent of Fodland, said to be protected by a revered goddess, 
has existed since time immemorial. Three ruling powers now control the land. In the south lies a region long held by a more than 1,000 year old dynasty, the Adrestian Empire. Beyond its borders, to the frigid north, is the home of the Holy Kingdom of Vargas, ruled by the royal family and its knights. To the east, a league of nobles that heeds no king nor emperor rules what is called the Leicester Alliance. Once consumed by a tempest of war and turmoil, Bodlin and these three <sighs> now exist in relative harmony. In the Fire Emblem Three Houses game, you are the hero the world needs. You start out as a mercenary. Well, that's the new character for Smash. <laughs> After an unexpected incident reveals an unknown power hidden within, you'll travel to Garrick Mock Monastery, where you'll receive an offer to teach at the Officer's Academy. They gotta put him in Smash? <laughs> begin to see a mysterious girl named Surface who appears within your mind. Garig Mok Monastery lies at the center of three large territories. It is the home base of the Church of Saros, the main religion of Fodlan, as well as the Knights of Saros. Not only does the church serve to maintain order in Fodlan, its monastery also houses the Officers' Academy. Those who train there will go on to shoulder the future of Fodlan. The A lot of, Academy like, cutscenes, it looks like. The Black Eagles is for students from the Adrestian Empire, including the house leader and future emperor, Edelgard. The Blue Lions boasts Prince Dimitri of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus as its house leader. This house is for students from his kingdom. The Golden Deer is for students from the Leicester Alliance. Their house leader is Claude, who is the heir of the noble family that leads the alliance. As a professor, you will lead the students of one of these houses and instruct them. In addition to the house leaders, there are many other students to meet, each with their own unique personalities and skills. Which house will you choose? This looks like the, like the biggest Fire Emblem game like yet. Students are I might actually finish this one. <laughs> Maybe. Sometimes I don't know. With the Knights of Saros themselves and gain real battle experience, including everything from defeating bandits to suppressing rebellions. These may be class assignments, but the stakes in each battle are very real. Whether your students live or die will depend on your leadership. Strategize as the battle progresses to claim victory. At the Officers' Academy, your students will work diligently each day so that they may wield a variety of weapons. Master the study of magic. And acquire special skills such as horsemanship. You have been entrusted with their future, and it's up to you to guide each of them and help them hone their abilities. Through combat experience and study, you can help your students reach their full potential. Looks like there's like a lot of like different ways you could play this game. Like and by doing so, their bonds will strengthen and they'll be able to better support each other on the battlefield. So you can see into the future. Hey, over here. He's Shulk. Forward, now. Three territories. Three houses. Your very own <laughs> that yellow guy is like, hey, it's kind of fun. Send troops out to fight. Will release on July twenty sixth. So, cool, look. cool. Thank you. Originally, we announced that Fire Emblem Three Houses would release this spring, but more.
more development time will be necessary. And so the new release date is July 26th. That means we'll have to ask you to wait a little longer, but we hope you'll look forward to the next generation of Fire Emblem all the same. Time for some more Nintendo Switch headlines. In this next entry of this iconic all right. series, the last player standing Tetris Tetranemo for players. Smash. But only one reigns supreme. This is Tetris 99. The iconic puzzle game arrives with an online experience like no other. <laughs> Nintendo Switch Online members can battle for dominance in this free-to-download game. <laughs> battle Royale Tetris. <laughs> to defeat the other 98 players and become the sole survivor. <laughs> Man, this is going to be fun to talk about after the direct. Ready to join the fight. Tetris 99 will be available for download later today. Look forward to battling it out in upcoming online events. Hope it isn't that expensive. Prepare to kill, survive, or die in Dead by dead, Daylight. Dead, light, dead, Imagine dead by Daylight. You're alone, struck by fear, struggling to survive. And then you meet another survivor. But it's too late. The killer is upon you. Now run. I was never uh, too interested in this game. But now that it's on Switch. Hmm, <laughs> I don't know. Oh yes, satisfying. Just you wait. <laughs> With loads of maps, <laughs> and it's funny Nintendo like kind of revealing this kind of game. System, while you're on the hunt or being hunted, discover the true meaning of horror when Dead by Daylight creeps up. Fall. On Nintendo Switch this fall. <laughs> this dog will ruin your day. What is happening? Sands join Smash. <laughs> the Undertale dog for Smash. What? I'm not getting it, even though it's probably free. Oh. Now for a message from the producer of the futuristic mech action game. Cool. I did not expect that to happen. I thought maybe when the full game comes out, but alright. Later today, we'll be releasing a demo called Damon X Machina Prototype Machine on Nintendo eShop for a limited time. Gundam related stuff is, is pretty cool, like mechs and all that. While exploring the basic controls and customizations of your personal mech known as an Arsenal, you can also experience a boss battle. I haven't really seen like a good game, you know, based on like mechs or whatever. This looks kind of kind of cool. We'll be conducting a short online survey by sending an email invite to some players to try out prototype mission. That's cool. They really want it to be like a good game. That's that's cool. We appreciate your feedback. I think last time we saw this was E3. We have more to say about Damon X Machina, so please follow the official Nintendo of America. They had an interesting English translator. <laughs> Damon X Machina should be launching this summer. With that in mind, the development team is working hard right now, so please stay tuned. Realistic racing is headed for Nintendo Switch. Grid up, wow. fully loaded with a mix of high-speed thrills, believable handling, uh, skill. You'll feel like a pro racer as you master the world's fastest cars to win motorsports' most exhilarating races. From the prestigious circuit of Spa Francochamps to the narrow city streets of Barcelona. All DLC is included with 100 cars, 100 circuits, 
and some welcome additions like motion controls and custom consoles. Players can race online or locally, and two players can race split screen on a single system, from street racing to demolition derby, when Grid Autosport speeds onto Nintendo Switch in summer 2019. I don't know. Could be fun, but it's probably, you know, full price game. Journey again, or for the very first time. Created in collaboration with neuroscientists and people who experience psychosis, Hellblade pulls players deep into the mind of Senua. This broken Celtic warrior will embark on a haunting vision quest through Viking Hell to fight for the soul of her dead lover. Hellblade has won multiple awards, including BAFTAs for performance, audio and artistic achievement, British Game and Game Beyond Entertainment. Find out why when Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice releases on Nintendo Switch this spring. That was a pretty cool monster. The Nintendo Switch lineup just keeps getting stronger. Mortal Kombat 11 proves the saga 25 years in the telling is far from over. With all new custom characters... That's not even that far from now. ...new characters and returning veterans taking up the fight. In a fresh new adventure, Unravel 2 sees players take control of two adorable Yarnies. Control both Yarnies on your own in single player, or play with a friend in local co-op for some puzzling platforming fun when Unravel 2 comes to Nintendo Switch March 22nd. For the first time on Nintendo Switch, experience Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered with revamped gameplay and features tailored to the system like motion aiming and touch input. Set in the American Revolution. Thanks to the Switch, I can now play some of those mainstream games or whatever, because I don't have an Xbox or PS4. So, nice. Not going to get this, though. <laughs> Open your calendars. We're excited to announce that Final Fantasy 7 will find its new home on Nintendo Switch March 26. Why does that look pretty good? Every huh. release on March 20th. We're pleased to announce that Final Fantasy 9 will journey onto Nintendo Switch later today. Once a classic, always a classic. That's what? Nintendo Switch headlines. Okay, all right. How's everything looking? Well, we have a bit more to share good, in this good. Nintendo Direct. Please stay with us until the end. Let's take a look, shall we? I honestly don't think we'll get Smash news, but man, that would be so awesome. Like I'm not gonna like I genuinely feel like it's just not something that'll happen, you know, but maybe like another like really cool announcement to take its place. Um like I'm hoping. But that feels more possible. <clears throat> Jeez. They took forever to set up that attack. That monster's like, um... Okay. <clears throat> looks like a it looks like like the visuals are really cool looking in this game but I don't know if it would be a good game actually <laughs> they showed off the character designer. They're like, see all this cool stuff? It's this guy. Might be cool. Might be fun. I like that, like, boss monster. That looked cool. What you just witnessed is Astral Chain, a brand new action game in development at Platinum Games. 
It looked like two characters were fighting together during battle, didn't it? I hope you're excited to learn more about how combat will play out in this game. Please stay tuned. And speaking of Platinum Games, I'm sure you're very curious about Bayonetta 3. I don't know what that is, but I'm excited. Oh! <coughs> and I hope you're looking forward to learning more. Our next title will be the last announcement of the day. Please check it out. Oh, snap, dude. What is it? Sounds like Splatoon. No, not Splatoon. Could be Smash, but I don't think so. Toon Link. Oh, it's the 2D Zelda that they were talking about. The, or the leak. Whoa. Yoshi swole, though. Link's Awakening. Alright, this new style... It's kind of strange, but the visuals, like, look really good. Like, the graphics. And Link's Awakening, why does that sound... Super familiar. Is this like a remake? That's it. That's oh, it, dude. That was so think? short. At long last, 1993's Game Boy Classic, The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, will find new life on That's what I thought. Switch. Smash trailer. As a new experience. And we'll have more to say in the future. <laughs> that can't be the last announcement. <laughs> That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you so much for watching. That's it. Dang, dude. I was. I mean, at least we got Smash news. They showed that there's going to be a huge update coming soon, but. Dang. That was a very, I'd say, not so good ending. Like, maybe they should have ended it on something cooler. But. Like, maybe Fire Emblem should have been the last thing, you know? Then, like, I don't know. End off with the character announcement for the new Fire Emblem character. I don't know, dude. I don't know. But it was cool. And you'd have to be a fool to say this was a bad direct. It was good. It's very hype. Mario Maker 2. Um, Fire Emblem actually looked really good. I don't know. Joker. Can't wait to play Joker in like two months. Along with apparently more content. I don't know. I don't know. Well, see you in the next video.